for some of you that are lucky enough, already have your own food business idea, this is also a really great lesson because we're gonna be able to inspire you and show you what other people are doing. So then that way you can enhance your current concept and be inspired to do so. Now for the rest of the majority of the people that are less lucky, this is the perfect lesson for you because we're gonna share with you different ways of finding what is trendy online and what you can potentially bring to your city. So then that way you can create your next food business idea. Now let's just jump right in. The five methods to start brainstorming for your food idea. First of all, start with your culture because this is something you hold truly to you and nothing can replace that. You know very, very different about what within your hometown, your ethnic background that is popular that in that you can actually bring to your new city. For example, for me, I immigrated to Vancouver from Hong Kong. So I oftentimes miss a lot of local Hong Kong food. And because of that, that Vancouver has a really, really big density of Chinese demographic as well. And that's the reason why a lot of people are offering a lot more Chinese food because people are wanting it because that's their ethnic background and it's something that um, in Vancouver they don't used to serve. Now, basically Vancouver serves all kind of ethnicity foods. So some of your family secret recipes that you can bring on board that people would appreciate as well. Something you can bring from your own ethnicity to a new market. And because of that novelty, a lot of people will jump on board as well. That becomes a really good place for you to find your next food business idea. For example, dumplings from China. Okay, so next up is to call a friend because when you hear your friend say, oh man, I'm craving for this right now, then you know you're gonna be onto something because food that they love but not currently out on the market or the food quality is just not that great yet, this becomes a golden opportunity because that's what people are wanting. For example, gluten-free fried chicken. And it is actually a thing. It is one of the most popular fried chicken places in Vancouver called Juke's Fried Chicken. And because they see it being a very popular place, people are always talking about it in Vancouver. We're in a very health cautious city and that's the reason why this is a really great concept. Next up, examine old mouse traps, then build a better one. What does that even mean? Food places and concept that you always go to and you buy from it. So for example, you'll be thinking about how you can actually improve it. So as an example, Croissant is super popular, donuts are super popular, and in New York, there's this bakery that combined it and made it such a storm, and it is something called the cronut, right? So if you haven't heard about the cronut, definitely just Google them up, and you're gonna see tons and tons of articles about cronut. And simply, what they did was to innovate, to cross-combine what a cro uh, croissant is and a donut is into something called the cronut eye on trends guys what food has been trending in the past year right so for some of you guys that don't know brown sugar bubble tea has been taking the whole city by storm and what are some of the potential food ideas that you can bring to the next level because like bubble tea has been popular for years now in vancouver and it has only been recently that the brown sugar bubble tea has picked up another hype, right? So definitely look at what is trendy and if you're lucky enough, you can actually be in the forefront of the wave and to catch a really, really great demand for your product, okay? Lastly, use social media to inspire you and to find different ideas. Now I know you're gonna say, hey Wilson, but how do I find food ideas on Instagram? It's such a big platform. How do I find food ins um, inspiration on TikTok? It is a huge platform. And that's the reason why we're gonna show you the four ways to find food ideas on Instagram. First up, explore page. On your Instagram, the first page that says explore, look at the tab in the top left right hand corner set that says food. Click into that and you're gonna see a ton of different food that has a lot of views. You'll see the popular photos that inspire you and you can click into it. So for example, I like this type of pasta, it looks really amazing. I wanna see what else do they have to offer. So you, when you click into it, these are the posts usually that are trendy or posted by bloggers. That means that they have high in demand and people are actually viewing it, looking at it, and this can become part of your food idea that you're gonna serve. Next up, food bloggers, speaking of which, search for accounts using using keywords such as 
foodie food bloggers and you'll find the most relevant search result as you can see right here on the search bar click in foodie and you're going to see a ton of foodie within your area and that's how you're going to be able to click into them and you're going to see their feed and mark down the hashtags that they use because the hashtags allows you to crawl into other influencers and other bloggers accounts and by you being in their account you're going to see what is popular and what is not popular and as you can see here foodie mugs i click foodie and then i found foodie mugs clicked into them actually you know what there you go and then i am on their profile and i see this is a really big fortune cookie as a dessert that looks really really cool so you know what let's click into it and see what they have to say and see there are tons of different items and as you can see right here this could potentially be your next food idea turning original items and blowing it up and turning it into a different type of dessert so this fortune cookie is actually a cake so because of the fact that they changed it up this became a very popular hit in vancouver right now and as you click into it and expand their captions you're going to see that there's going to be a ton of hashtags that they have used so after which you can actually look at these hashtags for so for example gastro van when you click into this hashtag you're going to see other posts that have the same hashtag that allows you to find different ideas so that's how you're going to find food bloggers accounts now next up food influencers accounts now you'll be thinking how do i find influencers within my specific city what you're going to do is look into the locational based influencers because sometimes you want to be able to find influencers that are within your own demographic where you are opening up a food business because what is popular in Vancouver might not be popular in New York might not be popular in your specific city and that's the reason why looking at locational based influencers is also very very important now what are locational based influencers and, and hashtags basically all you have to do is to write down the location that you're in, the specific city, either YVR, NYC, LA, L, uh, Las Vegas, whatever the case may be, plus a food related keyword at the end, and you're gonna see a ton of different hashtags. Then what you're gonna do is to go on the feed and find high quality photos because that's the standard that you usually you influencers use when they do a post. Go through their entire feed and usually they're gonna feature other really trendy items that is worth noting and this becomes your inspirational board and allows you to see different ideas from different locations and the reason why it's so important is because at different city once again you're going to see different types of food that are popular now on that note some of the cities out there grow a little bit faster and what i mean by that is because new york is really fast they might have cronuts they might have brown sugar bubble tea and those are the trend and if in your city it doesn't grow as fast these are areas that you can see oh you know what this is a proven popular product that i can bring into my city that is a little bit behind in terms of the trends and this becomes a really good way for you to be ahead of the game and that's how that's what we did quite frankly is that when we went to korea that's how i went to korea to actually find what is trendy and we found a smoking ice cream which i brought back to vancouver and once again we grew that into a seven location chain and then we sold that business and once again the fourth way is to find food related hashtags we need to start broad right either food porn food in uh, food instagram food lover and these guys and what i mean by broad is that they have a lot of different tags 247 million hashtags about this hashtag right so you want to be able to, to start broad and the reason why you want to start broad is because now you can get to be inspired by a lot more of these different items right here this allows you to see the food from all over the world now you're seeing what is popular around the world find posts that are high quality and once again the reason why you want to find posts with high quality is because usually these are taken by food influencers and when you click into them you're going to find other products and other items that are inspirational for your needs pro tip guys is to save the posts you like to create a small 
inspiration board for all your food ideas because at the end of the day, you're not gonna be using these posts right now, but when you save it, this becomes like a Pinterest board, which is all into one place. And for you, you're just kind of collecting all the data right now. And that's what we usually do is collect all the data, see what is popular and see if this is an idea that we would wanna do. Lastly, we're gonna be talking about TikTok. Once you're in TikTok, search the hashtag food. Look at the top four posts again, and then click on the posts and that count to see more food inspirational ideas. Now go back to the original feed, repeat steps three and four for you to find inspo ideas. Now, as you can see right here, in the search bar, we click on food TikTok, and then you're gonna see. I will eat pasta every single day. And no, I'm not. That's basically how you're gonna find all the food inspiration. And these are a lot of trends that are happening right now that you can use. And then now when you're done, you can click back out of this the other day somebody and find other accounts that have a lot of inspiration. And that's how you go into this rabbit hole of a method to find your next food business idea. Now it is your turn, guys. Now is your turn to go and write down three food ideas using this method that we suggested, okay? Go through this, take your time with it. It will be fun and it will take up a lot of your time. So don't rush this whole process. Go out there and find your three food ideas.